Hey guys, real quickly, just giving you a, a, a quick cosign. So, Serious Disclosure is a great uh, channel to get up to speed on. If you, you know you know someone who's new to the whole UFO, um, ufology topic, send them to Serious Disclosure first. You know, it's critical in this that people who are exposed to it first get exposed to very credible things. Um, that are seemingly very credible. Uh, you know, the one thing that we can really believe in is greed and, and the humans who need to survive. And the great thing about the Disclosure Project, if you guys haven't heard about it, you know, go to DisclosureProject.org, is that these are all folks under witness testimony. You know, they go down to Washington every year uh, and uh, in front of the pr press club, they have witness testimony and it's led by Dr. Greer, and each witness actually pledges to testify in front of Congress, which is a federal fence to lie, that everything they said is the truth. So if they lied about any of it, they will go to prison. And eventually there will be an investigation. So these are people that I feel mostly you can trust because of the human instinct to survive, and no one would want to jump up and say, hey, I want to go to prison. These are all professionals with professional careers. Eh, you might get a lunatic who wants to jump up and go to prison, but these folks don't. And then the other side of it is greed. You know, and the basis in, in, in Dr. Greer's approach is, is great because he focuses on, you know, releasing the technology. You know, it makes a lot of sense that the oil and, you know, gas industry do not want free energy or any technology learned from down UFOs released because it'll siphon trillions from their industry and put most of them out of business. So it just makes sense. And, you know, we can go back to examples like in the 19, I think it was the 1950s, there were, no, I'm sorry, it was 1960s, there were cars that could get 60 miles to the gallon. But all of that was just swept under covers simply because uh, it would uh, change the flow of money from you know certain car com companies as well as the oil industry so they put it under wraps um, uh, there are some other examples in, involving solar panels and, and there's an actual federal act on, on uh, federal act on the books that says that if you develop solar technology that is more than it's either it's either I, I think of something like 40 percent efficient that uh, the patent office, you had to file that, you know, when you, when you attempt to file it with the patent office, that federal act would basically sit on your technology uh, for national security interest. And I believe that the law said that it had to do with maintaining stable industries. So for various reasons, I, I think this all, a lot of the cover-up mess got started with the Brookings report. Uh, but since it's, it's just turned into a thing of greed. But anyway, I kind of turned that into a little spiel. Um, go check out the Serious Disclosure channel. It's a relatively new channel. It seems like they're uploading tons and tons of witness testimony um, from 2013. You know, of course, you know, I think they'll start, hopefully I'll start, they'll start to upload the old stuff. Or you can search for it on YouTube. But there's just witness testimony after testimony. You know, and how do you know what to look for in moon images and Mars images if you really don't know what the technology is and what the government has really been up to? and why they're hiding it you know so I think if you know a little better what to look for I think we'll find you know less rabbits on the planet you know on the surface of Mars rabbits and iguanas and you know not that those things you know possibly can't be real or aren't significant they are but you know those of you who are out doing the credible searches and you, you know you're chasing this because you're trying to find things that are real or you're you know you're chasing it for a faith reason and you want to know you know what you can trust and what you can't trust you know what to you know keep and want to cut what what to kind of toss out a great place to start I think is you know with the disclosure project you know it's it's a political effort to disclose you know the truth and uh, these are all professionals and they all seem to have very credible backgrounds but mostly you know great reason for not telling a lie because they wouldn't want to go to prison so uh, check them out Donna Hare is actually the one right there on the right you definitely want to check her videos out 
Um, you know, she's one of the ones who've seen uh, the structures on the moon, you know, UFOs and images. Um, uh, so anyway, take a peek. Have a good day.